reading your um reading leo woman meditating for your reading leo woman insecurity okay hopefully you guys aren't feeling that way but let's get into it all right so the first card that just popped out of my ass was seven of cups okay ten of cups in the reverse it could very well be a home situation um someone's guarded I'm not gonna rush these readings. I really want to get the message out. Like I said, be a woman. This is about the marriage. Someone was cheating. If you're dealing with a Libra husband, understand that he is out here giving his love to everyone. Yep, out here giving his love to everyone. He is not being faithful. Let's see the reason why. Okay, figure out who it is. This is the Love Live series. Super dope. I'm glad I came out with it storytelling yeah i'm not really sure if, <laughs> here's the thing i'm not sure if the libra husband wants to work on his commitment anymore okay he may just want to end it may just want to end it but you guys cards are going everywhere so work with me there is no lie it can't be a lie all right let's get to it so your libra husband may not want to work on it Let's see the reason why. Because Queen of Cups energy. Mm hmm And the Empress energy. Whoa. Emperor and energy. So this is definitely dealing with a woman, Leo, who is married. Um, I think you found out that your husband has options is and he doesn't want to work on it anymore. And if you didn't find out, I'm here to tell you. He doesn't want to work on it anymore. There is a third party situation. I feel like your husband wanna bring death to the situation. He absolutely wants to walk away, okay? And get out of his mind about this situation. The person he could be dealing with, who I see, is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We're going to go with Scorpio because they're here. This union, he's not feeling the marriage. I don't know what I, he isn't feeling the marriage. It's crazy. Libras and Leos are pretty good. I don't understand why, but that air and water combination is kind of crazy all right so you guys need to heal if you plan on working this out for the married couples married couples okay these readings might not res resonate with everyone here's the thing that shook me out whoever your husband is he is absolutely offering love elsewhere okay you may find out about this really really fast i think the truth about your situation that is that it's a toxic situation okay yep here we go every time i see it in my deck i can't really pull it out as fast but he's juggling he's juggling and if he's juggling and juggling communication this is what he's saying he's not happy at home all right secrets came out secrets are coming out a tower moment and the secrets card that man is whoever the husband is he is out of his head about deciding which way he want to go he's not happy about the situation he has clarity on that all right i feel like he's holding back on money holding back on money here's the love offerings that he's given out let's see the who it's definitely not to the home but once you find out, it's definitely going to bring a lot of conflict. Again, he's not giving any love. He's offering love elsewhere. And it is not to his past. It's not to the marriage. Okay. Sorry about that. Sometimes Leo men, you would think when you meet them, it's like they're the best. They're everything you ever wanted. And then once time passes, you find out that they don't love your ass for real. They love the thrill. One thing about Libra men, I'm sorry. You definitely could be dealing with a Libra. But one thing about Leo men, they love the chase. Secrets came out again. Um, with that Pisces, with the Queen of Cups card and the Moon card coming out twice, I will honestly say you may be dealing with a Pisces. Okay? You may find out fast communication about him dealing with a Pisces. I think in, in the beginning, he would, yep, yeah, it's a Libra. Um, I think in the beginning, you may have found out that he 
you didn't even find out yet, but I think you're gonna find out that. <sighs> Shit. I think you're gonna find out in the most crazy way that he has been dealing with two women. Mm -hmm. Two women. Damn. Yeah. He's offering a new cup of love that's gonna bring him wish fulfillment. He doesn't wanna end the situation. Here's the thing. Leo women, I'm telling you now, if you're dealing with a Libra man and you're married to him, understand that there is a mistress and this woman could very well be a Pisces. A Pisces woman. Yep. He's coming out. Okay? I will honestly advise you to use your intuition and let's get into the advice. I don't know why this is the story that's coming out, but I guess Libras, Libras are funny acting anyway. Alright, yep, here's the thing. He doesn't want to work on it. He's bringing a completion to the situation. Even if you guys aren't married, long-term relationships are still considered marriage until... So here's the thing. You could very well be dealing with a Virgo if you're a Libra man. I'm sorry, if you're a Leo man. Someone is dealing with a Libra, okay? I'm not going to keep saying that. You're dealing with a Libra, all right? And if you are dealing with a Virgo woman as a Leo man, you've been fighting. It's completion to this situation. As of now, yeah, this union, you, you don't want to work on it anymore. You don't. All right? You don't. don't want to work on this commitment anymore <laughs> you're coming out of that's the way it came out you're coming out of feeling guilty regretful coming out of feeling left out in the cold you're okay with being single because i think when you were in this commitment you were unhappy let's find out why why was you unhappy let's find out why because there was no balance here in this situation that you were in. Not even no balance. It wasn't any balance, but this person that you would have that you were with could have very well been um, your twin flame. Could have been your twin flame. The person that you're supposed to learn a lot from. But every twin flame is toxic. So you bring a completion to that, okay? That's Leo men dealing with their spouse and finding out that they're going to where they're going. Leo women. Hopefully, you're in your energy, okay? Hopefully, you're in your energy. Confident, feeling sexy, feeling inspired, feeling ambition. You're not looking to the past anymore, and you may be communicating that. I don't think you're offering anything to the past anymore, and you find victory in that. Um, I think the past brought you a lot of heartbreak and betrayal, so whatever commitment it was in the past, you're not looking at it anymore. You're actually checking out your options, all right? Checking out your options. Yep. You're coming out of heartbreak. Not lurking on that person. You're not stuck in your energy. Again, you don't care. You're not lurking on that person. Which is a good feeling. I'm proud of you. Keep it moving. Get back to yourself. Be your woman. Get back to your confidence. Come on. Let's see what else is being said. All right. I don't know why I keep piggy back, piggy, piggy and back in, <laughs> back and forth from like marriage to single. But here's the thing, my God, you tell a story. Um, married woman, if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I'm telling you now, he's not offering anything to the situation. He doesn't feel like it's gonna be abundant. Yes, your man is very well juggling. He's juggling. He's juggling. Okay. It may have you in your head. You're definitely feeling stressed out about it. You are the wife. Or you could very well be, um, or the person could very well be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, okay? And this person is in their head. They are feeling so fucked up. <sighs> Poor baby, I'm sorry. They're feeling so fucked up. Communication may be harsh with this person because... 
you will want somebody that they could trust and they can't trust anymore, okay? Um, truth came out about it being a third party situation. You out here doing whatever it is that you wanted to do. Yeah. And now your person is absolutely guarded. They didn't want to move forward. Understand that. They didn't want to move forward. They didn't. But once they found out the truth and their lies and their deception, and that Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, I'm sorry, <sighs> they could have felt a burden with the Ten of Wands, but honestly, being honest, once they found out about that and found out how crazy you were acting, how you were just out here doing anything, you left them feeling insecure. That's where that insecurity came from. You left them feeling insecure. You left them feeling not in their energy, not in their power. You broke them down. You broke them down. I don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah. Communication. Communication came out about you. Share your dick with everyone. Yes. You were. And that brung a tower moment. That brung an ending. That brung confusion, conflict, fights. I don't know why I'm sensing fights, but here's the thing. Neither one of you are trying to manifest anything, okay? Guard it. Whoever that person is, guard it. The thing about it is, something isn't being communicated. And it may be about you moving forward. It may be about you moving forward. Yeah. It may be about you not wanting to move forward. You not wanting to do this. Give your love to everyone. And that's the clarity that needs to be given, but it's not being communicated. Because you both are so guarded and standing your ground. But you don't want to move forward if you are a Leo man. Okay? But at the same time, you don't want to stop what it is that you're doing. You don't want to bring, bring a completion to fucking around and living your life and... What is it? Sowing your raw oats or whatever it is. Fucking around, pretty much. And I think that you know it's going to bring more fights and confusion if you come back. Because whoever you're dealing with is expecting... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the truth. Whoever you're dealing with, they're expecting for you to be a husband. Faithful. Like any woman who would. Okay? Again, if you're dealing with a Virgo... They don't know which way to go. They're forcing themselves to move on, but they understand that in their mind, it wasn't any victory in this situation, okay? Someone felt like this person is healing. Whoever your spouse is, Leo male or Leo woman, you take it how it resonates. I believe that this person is finding healing. Finding healing. They're, they're finding their happiness again, okay? They're coming out of being so weighed down, using the intuition, it's time to heal. Another way to look at that is your mistress could very well be an Aquarius, but hopefully not. Yeah, they're trying to find a way to heal with the truth that this is a union that didn't work. You know what I mean? They're coming out of feeling left out in the cold and understand that there is no new beginning. And that was communicated even if it wasn't communicated it was understanding there was an understanding okay that there was no balance in the situation there's no need to offer anything to the situation whoever you're dealing with leo or you could actually like being single okay you're coming out of your head if you're a leo woman i feel like you're focusing on your money or you're meeting someone new who's a capricorn towards a virgo Woman or male, gender doesn't matter. Capricorn towards a Virgo, this person may be the one to tame you. Hmm. 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 Nope. When it comes to the home situation, when it comes to that relationship, you don't want to offer anything, not even passion. That two, you don't want the union and you're not feeling stuck about it either. It doesn't bring you wish fulfillment, okay? 
Let me pause. The death card keep popping out at me. And that was part of the foundation. The death card keep popping out at me. If you are a Sagittarius woman and you've lost a Leo male as your spouse, understand that he or she loved you with everything in his body. Okay? Understand that. I see you not wanting to receive any offers of love because you love this Leo person so much, but they're dead. And I think what is being advised to you is to let it go because it's a part of life, one, but I think that's what they're saying. Let it go. This person very well wants you to keep focusing on being abundant, living your life. They do. They do. Yeah, they do. They do. They want you to focus on your stability. They want you to move forward. Get out of conflict. And conflict could be in your mind. Don't be out here fighting people because you're mad that your spouse is gone. It's a part of life. You understand that you're hurting, okay? All right, and that's just that one thing. But understand that there's no way in hell it could be a new start because your person has deceased. And that's just what it is. That's just the message that I was told to give. Move forward, okay? I feel like they know you want to fight, 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 fight. But you have to also understand that walking away... It's not about the battles. You win a war. Look into your future, okay? And find your happiness. I don't know why that just came out. I have no idea why that came out. Like that. Yeah. I think the advice is to live your life, okay? Manifest an abundant life for you. Don't focus on the past. It happened. Even though you're heartbroken. But since that part was so crazy, let me see what it says. And that was for a Sagittarius dealing with a Leo. Somebody died, and um, so whichever one is living is not feeling this at all. They don't even want to see it. But that, yeah, that's the advice. Start a new beginning. Focus on your money. You know? Take care of the family. Focus on happiness. Yeah. Come out of being so isolated. Stop thinking everyone is out here to get you because they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. Everyone is not out here to get you. They just hurt. That death of your love spouse fucked your head up. Yeah, it did. It messed you up. Like it would do anyone. Yeah, it messed up that commitment. And you've been heartbroken ever since. But here's the thing. Let me see what it's saying. Yeah, come out of feeling heartbroken. You're going to be fine. Focus on your future. Abundance. Okay? <laughs> Some Leos can have a new air sign. Leo. I'm sorry, I keep saying Leo. Goodness. Some of you guys could be having a new air sign come in. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're kind of iffy, iffy about the situation. But use your intuition. Use your intuition. I don't think this person has a big ego at all. He might just match the vibe. Come out of break mode. Come out of feeling so alone. Come, come out of that. It's time for you to come out of that, okay? I know it takes time to heal and mourn, but it's time for you to come up out of that. Yeah. Get back into your energy. Strength. You definitely can have a new offer coming in. I don't 
necessarily like, I don't know why I'm saying this, I don't necessarily like fire signs or earth signs. The reason being is because earth signs are extremely stable. Yeah, you got to pause. I'm going to get back to it. You definitely have a king of swords. You definitely have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius within that. Here's the thing. You will move forward with that person passionately. Unless it's going to be some good sex. I don't necessarily like air signs or fire signs because fire signs could be users to air signs. Yeah. That's how you're going to stand your ground. You're going to be abundant. You may get pregnant. Some of you Leos may be pregnant right now. You may be expecting. You may be expecting. I don't want to be everywhere with this reading. I'm just going with the flow. Abundant in money. <laughs> Any business deal that you have going on, look over it, okay? Make sure they're not playing you. Make sure they're not playing you. Make sure they're not playing you. Go over any business deal. Go over the contract. Make sure it's right. Make sure it match what it is that you want. Okay? Yep. Focus on work. It's time to grow. If you guys are dealing with a Capricorn, this person... You guys need to communicate with this Capricorn, okay? I don't really think they want to move forward, but you need to communicate with them, all right? They really don't want to end the situation. That's not what I'm saying. Or you don't want to end the situation. But open your mouth. It's something that you're not saying that you need to open your mouth about. Okay? Hmm. Again, I don't really like fire signs or earth signs because fire signs always resist to earth signs. Betray them. And it's nothing that you want to work on. It's always good for a good time, not a long time. You guys probably cheated. Yeah, this union is over. <sighs> I'm sorry. Yeah, definitely. Fire sign male. Whoever you were with, you made them feel left out in the cold. You made them feel, yeah. Left out in the cold, fucked up, they in their mind, they found out about you out here partying. The commitment is pretty much done. Could have very well been a Taurus. But you didn't find wish fulfillment there. You didn't think it was going to be anything worth working on. Mm, go figure. Okay. You guys could have been fighting a lot. There's a kid involved. You guys could have been fighting over a kid. If it's, a, if it's a Leo woman, you could have been fighting with, oh goodness, a Capricorn man about your child. It could have been money involved and everything. I don't necessarily see. Yeah, whoever the father figure is, Leo, whether you're the father figure or Leo woman, your husband or father figure to this child, they're not helping you. I think I said that in Aquarius reading, so check out the Aquarius reading. Under um fucking plot twist, I just screwed my head up. Yeah, I did. There's no love. Whoever the father figure is, they're not really showing any love to their kid. They're not. Again, if you're a Leo woman, de Leo woman dealing with a Libra man, do not trust his ass. He full of shit. Capricorn man, do not trust his ass. He full of shit. If you're a Leo man, you may have betrayed the fuck out of a Pisces, Taurus, Libra, Virgo, by all means, Virgo, Cancer. Yeah, here we go. That's what I said. And now, here's the truth coming out. The truth is going to come out. Leos, you've been unfulfilled for a long time. I don't think you have found who you want to be with. I don't think you found your happiness overall. Like, 
your life partner, you're not satisfied. You haven't found them. So I think you're still out here fucking anything and everyone, not really giving a commitment to anyone, but offering dick or vagina. I don't know which one to say. To anyone until, while you're waiting, until you find what it is you're looking for. But that's crazy as shit because you're never going to find what it is you're looking for if you don't work on yourself. I don't necessarily think that you want to be single. No, I take that back. I think you want to be single. I don't think you want to be single. I think you're looking for the person who's going to bring out the best in you, okay? So that you guys can get into that commitment. That's where I was going with that, all right? Forgive me. Forgive me. But until then, until you find that person, you're not accepting any offers, okay? Yeah, that makes sense. There's nothing for you to walk away from because you're not accepting anything. You're going to stand your ground and you're going to be who you are. That fiery person, that Leo, until you find, it is what you find what it is that you're looking for. All right? You're holding on to your offer. You're being guarded. You're not fighting with anyone. You're coming out of your mind. Until you find what it is you're looking for, exactly what it is you're looking for, you're not entertaining anyone. And that is what you're letting be known. You're going to wait. All right, Leo. That was that.